Hey there, John Wild here, and I'm going on a little trip. I'm going to be getting on a big old airplane like that. I'm going to be making a trip out to visit a friend and also visit the city of Detroit, and I'm going to take you along with me. Why don't we start out by taking a little bit of a travelogue, a little bit of a tour of the city of Detroit. at the corporate headquarters for General Motors and I'm staying nearby to there so why don't we take a look at what's inside of that building. They got all of the new cars kind of out on display and I think they have salespeople down there just in case you're interested in buying one. Just lots and lots and lots of new cars. One of the neater things I've seen here is this Chevy truck that's built all in Legos. We'll get a closer look at that. So we got our Lego figure standing here in front of it for your kids to get their picture taken of. And here it is. This is a Lego sculpture of a Chevy truck. Really cool. Here's a cool look at the back of it. A lot of detail. Incredible detail for Legos, huh? Closer look at the tire and you can definitely see now that it's all Lego. Wicked. So there's a carousel that runs through the center of it and on that carousel is all sorts of cool concept cars. You're just circling around here. Well, let's show off my favorite one right now. Here we got to look at a concept car, which is a Hot Wheels Chevy car. Really cool. Wish that was in my garage. Not too sure if I like the color on this car, but this is another one of the Hot Wheels cars here at the General Motors headquarters. I'm heading out to a special location. I visited a comic book store here called Vault of Midnight. Here's my train. It's All right, so I'm back up my room here, and I wanted to show off a couple of the things I picked up at the Vault of Midnight. This is the Dark Knight Returns. This is the Last Crusade. It's a deluxe edition. It's a hardcover book. To finish off my uh, Dark Knight Returns kind of thing, I picked up the Dark Knight, Batman the Dark Knight, the Master Race. It's a uh, Frank Miller. Those are the two things I picked up from the Vault of Midnight. Great store. I really enjoyed um, talking with those folks. And I'm very happy to add these to my collection. Hey, I'm back again, and I'm on the road now. I got a rental car, and I'm heading to see a fellow member of the Collector's Dungeon crew, who you see with me on uh, Count Stankless' channel on YouTube when we do the live shows. So I'm actually heading to see him. So he's the third person that I've gone out to see, uh, YouTube friends. Uh, a couple years ago, I saw Overlord. Last year, I went out to California and met with Count Stankus. This year, I'm in Michigan, and you're going to see who I'm going to see. So give me a minute, and I'll be right there. 
Okay, so I reached my destination and uh, I'm gonna be toy shopping with, who is this? Hey, hey, John Gaither here. Yep, John and I are gonna be doing some toy hunting over the next couple days and we're taking you along for the ride. So On the first day, I, I really got kind of excited. I didn't shoot a lot of video. Um, we did stop to a couple of comic book shops and then we went up to Bay City and stopped at an antique mall. At that antique mall, there was a display case and it was just packed full of vintage action figures and it was really, really exciting to see these. It was there that John found his find and I also found something too. Here's my finds. I found a couple of Mego Planet of the Ape figures. I actually found two ape soldiers and the first one is, he's complete. He's got his gloves and he's got his rifle and bandolier. And the second one, he's got one of his gloves and his bandolier, but he's missing his rifle. But it was really exciting to find these two figures in Bay City, Michigan. Let's see what John got. Well, the main thing was this outstanding Remco Universal Monsters Dracula. Cape on this is immaculate. It is pristine, absolutely awesome, and it'll go great with my Remco Frankenstein. We better watch out. The dogs are going to get us. Yes. All right, so we're going to be heading out toy shopping today. And again, it's John Wild, John Gaither, Scott Taylor. Yep, and we're all going to be heading to a couple of uh, local haunts and hitting a couple of antique malls. So we'll show off uh, some of the spots we're going to and show off some of the toys we're seeing today. Oh, he just got done eating at Tony's, and they're, they're pretty famous for one thing. Show them what they're famous for. Yes, bacon. When you order your breakfast, you don't have to worry about ordering extra bacon. You get it every single time. What a cool experience eating there at Tony's restaurant. Okay, so we made our first stop. We're here at the city market and we're gonna do some toy hunting. incredible dump bin and we did find this intestinal distress Chewbacca a whole collection of uh, these uh, Dick Tracy uh, yeah Dick Tracy figures uh, you find a lot of this figure in this dump bin for some reason too GI Joe extreme and Moses and, and Moses together yes. tag team yeah Moses has joined the Joe team Michael Morbius yeah yeah I think it's this little head switch you can well, and then he goes like this there's a Kenner uh, <laughs> What's that? Uh, 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 sure wouldn't uh, no best uh, hair yeah. ever on an action yeah, figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like oh, there's another. Yeah, these these seem to just appear out of nowhere. You just be digging through in a Dick Tracy oh, figure. Look, look what I found. Yeah, see, I do I do like the dumb bin because I have found treasures in here. In the past. Oh yeah, but you have to you have to be diligent. And you have to. It's Van Helsing. Oh yeah. With the it's derpy. actually it's a pretty good likeness. Yeah, he's kind of derpy too. looking. Mm. Realize he didn't get the Academy Award for uh, oh, yeah. P.T. Barnum, I guess. Butthead, <laughs> Star Trek figure, but Oh, lots of good stuff here. Oh, yeah, cracking on. Yeah, there's lots of good stuff. No no, no, Kim toys. Mini, shark, no. mini, mini, no, mini, mini Simpentors. Okay, so we're finished up here at There and Back Again Collectibles, and now we're going to our next spot. So our next stop is Sweet Ludes, Collectibles, Cards, Comics, and Toys, and this is more of a vintage stop, so we're going to check out and see what we could find here.
Okay, so we're back from toy hunting today. We had a great time. We saw a lot of cool things. We, we got did. some really good deals. So um, thanks for coming along with us. Again, it's been John Wild, John Gaither, and Scott Dale. Okay, all right. We'll show off our goodies right now. All right, so today's find for me is I got an Evil Knievel from uh, Ideal Toys. And the other thing that I got was the Trash Monster from Star Wars. Got them at a real good deal at Sweet Lou's. So uh, both places that we did stop to, both Sweet Lou's and they're in back of Ben collectibles were awesome places. Let's see what John got. All right, we all went out today, had a great time. Toy hunting was a lot of fun. Uh, picked up a few things. First in Flint, Michigan at There Again Back Again Toys. I uh, picked up a Savage World uh, Funko Thundercats Slythe action figure. I own Lionel Panther and Mumra, so this completes wave one for me. Very awesome, very cool. Picked up this Enzo action figure from the old reboot uh, CGI uh, cartoon series. I don't know, I thought he was really cool, he was really cheap. We have Laura Croft with her guns and grappling hook and backpack. Antique mall stops, I picked up this Avon uh, uh, Snoopy, and I believe it's either a, it's actually bubble bath uh, container. Finally, at another antique mall, I picked up the Modern Comics, the Mini Ghost of Dr. Graves, um, just for the Steve Ditko art. So, fun time, great time with John and Scott. Loved it. All right, had a great time out uh, finding some cool treasure toys. This is what I got. I got this cool vintage uh, Star Wars Snowspeeder. Very cool. I got a cool uh, Bespin Leia. Latu. Skiffguard. FX7. Vintage. R2-D2 with center scope. Very nice looking figure. Star Wars Planet of the Who Jibs record book. Pretty cool. For my wonderful daughter, I picked up uh, this uh, She-Hulk Marvel Universe. That's what I got. Uh, it was a fun day. Had fun. Catch you all later. Bye. So my adventure is over. I'm getting back onto one of those things. I'm going to fly back home again. Just wanted to thank John Gaither and Scott Taylor for being such a nice host here in their home city and also um, enjoyed spending some time in the city of Detroit and some of the places and sites I saw there. Until my next video, catch you later. All right, you got it. Look at, oh no, the dogs, oh no, the dogs.